How to survive the holidays without getting fatter and gaining extra weight. Holidays can be quite challenging, especially when you're trying to keep yourself in shape or trying to not gain extra weight. And this is why I want to share with you five very simple tips that you can try and do that you, helps me to not gain too much weight during the holidays and sometimes not even gain any extra weight. Or even if again, it's very little, so it's easy for me to take it off after. So the first thing you need to do is try to drink more water because when you drink more water, especially before meals, and I'll explain about that in a second, if you drink before meals, then first that helps you suppress your hunger. It improves the process in your body. It helps your body get rid of more things that you doesn't need. And on top of that, it improves your digestion. So everything that you will consume after will be digested much, much easier. Do not drink water or any liquids if you can throughout and after the meal two to three hours because this way you actually disturb your digestion makes it everything harder to digest and to process in your body so then it slows down all this process the food rotens in your body and it creates inflammation as well so water only before and on an empty stomach or if it's after especially after a big meal two to three hours so you can actually benefit from it and not suffer from it. The second thing is try to eat more fruits and vegetables, especially when you eat fruits, try to eat them on an empty stomach again, like the water, eat fruits on an empty stomach because this way they ferment in your stomach and they give you the good bacteria, which are the probiotics, which also improve your digestion. And if you eat them during the meals, and after the meals, which you shouldn't do, again, they rotten in your body and they create inflammation and they disturb your digestion, etc, etc. Fruits, you need to eat only on an empty stomach. And when you eat them before meal, then you, they will allow you to feel less hungry, so it's less likely for you to overeat. And the other thing is, try to add as much vegetables as you can to your meals. For example, start with some salad some fresh vegetables because the vegetables first they are low in calories so it means that you will most likely gain less weight because you're going to consume less calorie but they also make you feel much faster and it also allow you to understand that you're full so you're not overeating or at least we're hoping that you're going to overeat a little a little less and also they're high nutrients which will help you help your body process all these foods and all these things that we consume and uh, this way we will be able to gain less weight or not gain at all. The third thing that I really think we need to focus on because for some reason we all get crazy around this time so especially when there's so much food and we think oh we are on holiday and we go crazy it's that it's not a competition it's not a competition to see how much you can eat it's not a competition to see who can eat faster. That's things that are not there, but we kind of come up with them and we do it. We act like it's the last time we we'll eat. And if we don't eat first and we don't eat everything, we will die the next day or something like that. It's also not necessary to try all the types of food. And even if you do, it's not necessary to try them 20 times each. So it's not a competition. Don't test your limits. Don't try to eat as much as you can. Don't try to try everything. Don't try to compete with the others who can eat the fastest, etc. Et try to eat slower. If you eat slower, that gives time to your stomach to send signals to your brain to tell it, look, we are full and or we are getting full. So maybe stop eating so much and then that's more likely that you uh, less likely for you to overeat again. And all these things, they're simple, but they're very effective. And when it comes to alcohol, again, it's not a competition. And alcohol is not the main meal. So it's a complementary thing. So don't overuse the alcohol. Don't mix many types of alcohol. If you drink any alcohol, try to be in at least the same type. So you don't mix too many things so it's not harder for your body to digest it and ideally if you can skip the alcohol even better but even if you do try to drink 
one type of alcohol and remember that it's not the main meal so don't try to drink as much as you can if you want to get a pdf with all the five steps described in it press the link below in the description and get it for free now the fourth thing is try to give some rest to your body what do i mean by that i mean give some rest to your body from digestion because digestion takes enormous amount of energy of our body especially when you when we mix so many types of food especially when we mix so many types of food with alcohol and drinks and sweets and all kind of stuff like that then all this energy from our body goes to digestion and when we give some rest it allows your body to digest properly and to get rid of whatever it, it doesn't need and take the maximum of what there is there and how you give rest from digestion let's say you had a heavy dinner then you don't have to have breakfast the next day you can drink only water then lunch time you can go if you don't have to smash yourself which you don't ever but if you don't have other uh, engagement and arrangements to go somewhere then lunch time you can also have some lighter food like salad or something like that and then the evening if you need to eat again like like crazy then go for it but at least you gave your body some time to digest and to process everything and you give it some rest so this way everything will go much faster and most likely your body will get rid of whatever it doesn't need so you're not going to gain extra weight because when you keep stuffing food without stopping every single meal then uh, that makes it very hard for your body and often it just decides to store something for later and to keep whatever it can just to survive which you don't need to survive especially around the holidays most of us have so much that we can survive probably for a month for a month with just these few meals five that is last but not least is very important after meal try to do some movement move more in general it's holidays but it doesn't mean that you it's off time from moving actually you need to move more because you have you're supposed to have more free time so after your meal try to go for a walk that's the best thing you can do because it helps you the, your digestion it helps you lose some stuff that you don't need it improves all the process in your body it pumps the blood and the blood starts moving better and on top of that you all most likely will burn some calories as well the worst thing you can do when you smash yourself with food and the first thing you feel like doing is taking a nap that's the worst thing you can do because it stops everything and slows down all the processes in your body it slows down slows down your digestion and you you create more inflammation that way and it's less like it's more likely for you to gain extra weight like that it's more likely for you to not digest the food it's more likely for you to uh, absorb more of the sheets that you have consumed and etc 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 there are so many negatives of going to sleep after meal that it's crazy and ideally if you can go for a walk before the meal and go for a walk after the meal the more you move the better because this way you burn more calories and you start your body working and then you can deal with what you consume so let's go back to them again first one drink more water before meals on an empty stomach or two three hours after meal eat more fruits on an empty stomach before meal and vegetables throughout the meal so you don't overeat third one is that it's not a competition and the alcohol it's not a main meal so try to avoid the alcohol and try not to compete with yourself how much you can eat or with the others and you don't have to finish everything that is there the fourth one is try to give some rest to your body so go with your breakfast only with water or your lunch time only with light salad or some light food give some rest from digestion to your body and the last but very very important is to move as much as you can go for a walk before work before the meal and, and go for a walk after the meal but don't go for a nap after you smash yourself with food if you want to get a pdf with all the five steps described in it press the link below in the description 
en get it for free now.